My name is Kenneth Copeland. I'm the Chief of Pediatric Endocrinology and Diabetes here at the University of Oklahoma. Ever since I came to Oklahoma, I've had a passionate interest in Native American health. And shortly after arriving, I started Indian clinics for children with diabetes all around the state of Oklahoma. For these clinics, I would gather up all of my team, my medical students, my resident, my diabetes educator, my nutritionists, uh, and the physicians, and we would pile in a, in a car or get on an airplane and fly to some remote portion of the state of Oklahoma. As I've gotten a few gray hairs and uh, uh, a few more responsibilities, I've found that that's been a little bit impossible. And so beginning at 2008, uh, just by the necessity of it all, uh, I started uh, using, extensively using, telehealth for some of my remote Indian clinics around the state. So approximately every month, I will connect on telemedicine from my desk to Tallahena, which is the health center for the Choctaw Nation, and conduct an entire day of telemedicine with diabetic and endocrinology patients uh, by long distance. So I've been able to avoid this two-time-a-day, 200-mile trek to Tallahena by being on telemedicine. It has some problems but it has some absolute wonderful attributes. The problems, of course, are that when you're doing telehealth for actually conducting a clinic visit, you can't put your hands right on. So there are a few times when I say, gee, I wish I could be right there to put my hands on, actually to listen to the chest, actually to palpate the thyroid. So those are things that actually are a deficit. The major strengths, however, are the fact that the children absolutely love it, that in fact I can be right there in live time on the computer connected to Tallahena 200 miles away to their electronic medical record while I'm speaking to the family just as close as the television screen. The kinds of cases I see are just exactly what you would expect to see in a pediatric endocrinology or diabetes clinic. And in fact, the cases that I see are identical to what I see here at my clinics in Oklahoma City. Uh, and in fact, I think this is one of the selling points of telehealth. The way we usually do it is we set up a screen right there in the patient's room. And that's showing a picture of me on one end while I've got a picture of them on the other end. On those rare cases when I absolutely have to listen to the heart or have to listen to the chest, then I will call in one of my colleagues there in Tallahena and ask a special favor, would you go in and actually just palpate this thyroid gland for me or push on the belly and let me check it out. It really works pretty well. And most of all, the children always love the technology. Now, where might this go in the future? I guess that's a really good question. First of all, I think as we get larger as a, as a group of pediatric endocrinologists here in our program, I expect that we will have needs to cover uh, children with diabetes and endocrinology problems all around the state. And so one comes up again against the logistics of just how do you do it. Uh, what we find, for example, if you, can, if you just imagine that Tallahena is 200 miles away, that's 400 miles of a travel to conduct one day's clinic visit. So not only the cost, but the saving of time that one gets by being on telemedicine is a, is a huge advantage. Uh, we anticipate that, that the five Indian clinics that we serve right now is only the beginning, that as time goes on, we hope to have several other clinics around the state, and I suspect most of them will be served by telemedicine.